You should look. Check the account. Your account has been locked. What? My account has got banned. <laughs> Wait, 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 let me turn go to it. Not even like twenty minutes. <laughs> you had that with the plug about twenty minutes. <laughs> Let me set the stage for ya. June 2012. Los Angeles wins a Stanley Cup. Maroon 5 was on the radio constantly. I got my dog, Nia. I love you, Nia. But we also got a conclusion to one of the greatest trilogies in all of fiction. Madagascar. <coughs> After filming rap, the actors all went on to live their lives outside the project. Alex produced some films, Gloria's second husband beat Marty at an award show, Kowalski bombed a school. The world moved on from these characters, having been satisfied from their wacky hijinks of the film, leaving one titular character enraged. We made a Twitter account for a fictional character because we're dumb and stupid. No, I don't know, man. It'll be another four months! Okay, what's, it, what's the ad again? The ad? It's, yeah. um, Melman the Plug. Look at the reply! <laughs> so are you tweeting me right now? Probably threatened to throw themselves into a volcano just to get a play like you did. Discreet. <laughs> Jesus Christ, if you make a new Twitter profile and don't immediately follow people and just go to like the homepage, it's nothing but crypto bros. <laughs> you should just follow like every single crypto bro. <laughs> Alright, <laughs> But... All these guys are gonna see new followers. <laughs> 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 Followed by someone. Is it a bot? No, I don't think so. They got over a hundred thousand followers. Alex T, DJ, producer, and crypto guy. Is that one of the guys who followed me? Follow you back? No, I didn't even follow him. He just found me. He found me following a bunch of crypto accounts, and he was like, mm, "Yes, he's bro brother." I, I have another tweet in mind that's a banger. It popped in my brain, and I realized that it needs to be done. My magnum opus. The reason there wasn't a Madagascar 4 was because, well, remember that Italian sea lion from the third film? Well, he had a nasty coke addiction and he got involved with some pretty shady people at the height of his fame. He was found deceased one morning after not being seen for about a week. DreamWorks pulled the plug on the next entry as he had been an integral part of the plot and they couldn't in good conscience continue on the project. I'm real sorry to break this news to you all. This is so sad. Hippo c mostly for you. <laughs> <laughs> surrounded the illegals. Three days later. Do you remember when I got followed by Alex T? Do you remember that? No. The very first day of Melman the Plug, the very first follower I got was a fucking guy who's a DJ, producer, and crypto guy named Alex T. He has a tenth of a million followers. Well, that British bitch, that fucking asshole, unfollowed me after a couple days of Melman the Plug shenanigans. And, uh, you know, I, I, don't, I didn't take it quite so kindly. Melman didn't take it so quite so kindly. I crafted one response, but uh, Twitter took it down because it, it, it violates the rule of against hateful conduct. Why? What did you say? This is what they considered hateful conduct. Why? What the f is MAGA FOX! I, I replaced Alex T as, as my main bitch because I have I have Stefan now with 356.2 thousand followers. Angel investor. Goals of crypto. He follows me. He follows Melvin the plug. Twitter is fucking stupid! Dude, this is like a puppy party! That's genuinely despicable. Aren't you glad? Aren't you glad you answered the phone call today?
Fuck, I'm not a bad man. I can't deal with any more of this shit. If I say, I gotta do this in Melman's voice. <clears throat> uh, how, how do you how do you do a David Schwimmer impression? He talks like this. Melman, I guess. I can't. I can't do impressions. I can do Morgan Freeman. That's the only one I can do, and I have to be fucking super relaxed to do it. So I can't even do it on fucking command. Do it now. Now. Do it. Do it now. Right now. Right now. Right now. I'm Morgan Freeman, and I support the 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 grandma trafficking union. Wait, shit, no, I have an even better idea. Since he's like all the fucking guy on like National Geographic and shit, it's like uh... The wild giraffe kneels over the mirror with a hundred dollar bill in his nose. Snorting up line after line after line of cocaine. And quite frankly, I want some of that cocaine. <laughs> if I see one more post about meme coin, I'm going to hang myself. No, I this is Morgan Freeman. It's just everything from, from now on should be read in Morgan Freeman's voice. If I see one more post about meme coin, I'm going to hang myself. It's gonna be from a crane, in case you were wondering how that works as a draft. Hey, are Madagascar fans 18 yet? What is Bitcoin? Mm -hmm. Not gonna lie, I forget to shake after peeing like every single time. Shit be dripping. I just busted a nut to this image. Did you know that Morgan Freeman's in Ted 2? He has five Oscars! That's a pretty healthy amount. Ted 2. The highly anticipated 2015 film that's a sequel to the hit movie, Ted. Where a stoner teddy bear comes to life, played by Peter Griffin. Morgan Freeman was in that. As a lawyer. Here's a screenshot. And he has multiple scenes, too. This is not like a one-off cameo. He's, a, he's an integral character to the movie. I was called by my publicist, and they said, Do you want to be in TED? When they told me this, I thought they meant they wanted me to be in a TED Talk. So I went to the office and expected to give a very in-depth and intelligent conversation with the masses of America. Then they put me in an office with a CGI teddy bear, and I said, Who the f*** are you? And I shit you not. I shit you not. Peter Griffin's voice comes out of the fucking teddy bear, <laughs> and he tells me that he doesn't, he's, he's not, he's not a human being. I look at the teddy bear, and I tell him, this is the plot of Short Circuit 2. <laughs> <laughs> have I gone on this rant before? Probably. Have, I, I, I hope, I hope I have. If, if not, you're gonna hear it again. Ted 2 has the exact same, I mean, literally the exact same plot as the sequel to the movie Short Circuit. If you've never seen Short Circuit, it's about a fucking robot that gains human intelligence, like actual real life intelligence. It's a really shitty 80s movie, and like two years later they made a sequel. Short Circuit 2 isn't about the government trying to hunt down this sentient robot, no. It's about him being prosecuted by like a toy manufacturing plot, right? They wanted to like make more Johnny Five robots or something. They think they wanted to put him in the military or some shit. And he was like, I'm not property, I'm alive! I'm a robot, but I'm alive! He has to go to the Supreme Court to fight for his case and get told by the US government that he deserves rights because he's a human citizen, because he's alive intelligent. This movie came out in 1988, and Ted 2 has the exact same plot! The exact same plot! <laughs> Ted 2 came out in 2015! Short Circuit 2 came out in 1988! Ted 2 takes place right after the events of Ted 1, okay? Mark Wahlberg's character, uh, what's his name? Uh, Bennett, something Bennett. Uh, it, I think it was, it was, uh, it was John Bennett, I think. Yeah, John Bennett, alright? John Bennett he gets divorced to Mila Kunis. Uh, off screen and for some reason undoes the entirety of the plot of Ted, of Ted the first one, right? But in the second one, he's married to a girl called Tammy Lynn. She's a prostitute or a stripper or some shit. I don't fucking know. She's dumb as fuck, all right? And then he's like, well, I want to have a baby with you. I want to have a baby with you. And then she was like, okay, let's have a baby. But then he goes to go have a baby and they're like, you can't adopt a baby because you're not a human citizen. And it got put on, it got put on like their pinged like radar or some shit. 
And they were like, you're not a human citizen, you don't have rights, you don't have anything. And then a toy company, a fucking toy company, just like a short circuit too, is like, oh, we can we can hunt down Ted, we can rip up apart, we can see what makes him tick, we can sell off many a Ted's to the, the entire world over, you know, they can have their own little little teddy bear of their own and talks to Peter Griffin, and then he's like, oh no, I don't want to be ripped apart by the US government, I don't want to be, I don't want to be sold, I don't want to be tracked, I don't want to be ripped apart, I'll, I'll die, they don't know that I'm alive, I'm a human being, I want to marry my fucking wife, Tammy Lynn, have a kid, a fucking bastard child with a fucking teddy bear, and so he goes, oh, okay, let's go to the fucking Supreme Court with Morgan fucking Freeman instead of whatever lawyers in short circuit to, to prove that I'm a human fucking being, what is Ted, it's Ted fucking two! Mm -hmm. It all out. The only Imagine difference. It back right now. There you go. <laughs> the only difference between Short Circuit 2 and Ted 2 is the fact that the uh, fictional character in question is getting high out of a bong shaped like a penis. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Thank you for coming to my, uh, my TED talk. <laughs> ah! Seth MacFarlane, I'm I'm fucking on to you, dude.